By taking a shape, by having a visible plan, you open yourself up to attack. Instead of taking a clear form, for your enemy to grasp, keep yourself adaptable, flexible, and unreadable. A mystery. Always on the move. The best way to protect yourself, is to be as fluid, and formless, as water. Never bet on stability, or lasting order. The only thing for certain, is that everything, changes. The human animal creates forms through which we express ourselves and, in particular, express our emotions. In fact, we cannot communicate our emotions without a form. Language is the main form through which we express ourselves. Music, art, and fashion are all forms. Habits, rituals, politics, warfare, strategy, any system or way of doing something, these are all forms. While new forms are always being created, existing forms are evolving. Every generation, creates its own new forms, while the forms of their parents become stale. Old forms become rigid, relics of the past, and are eventually discarded. The fresh forms created by the young generation, are signs of life and vitality. This drives innovation, and keeps society moving toward the future. This, is the way of the world. The powerful, are often people who, in their youth, have shown great creativity in expressing something new, through a new form. You can easily see this in the rise of the internet, and tech companies. When he was only 19, Mark Zuckerberg created a new form called Facebook. Society rewards maverick innovators like Zuckerberg with great power because we are so hungry, for the new forms, they create. Power can only thrive, if it is in flexible forms. When existing forms become rigid they begin to lose power. So, when we try to gain or keep power, we must make sure our forms are fluid and flexible. To be formless in the realm of power, is not to be without a form, it's important to understand, everything, has a form. You will always be using a form to express yourself. But we want to appear formless, to do this we hide or disguise our forms. The formlessness of power, is more like that of water, taking the form of whatever is around it. When water is poured into a cup, it becomes the shape of the cup. Water is constantly changing, adapting, it is never predictable. When you hide your form, to the outside world, to your enemies, you appear formless, with no visible plan. They cannot see what you are up to, and have nothing solid to attack. You become hard to grasp, elusive, fluid, too swift to catch. So in the realm of power, appearing without form is a strategic tool. It gives you the ability to adapt quickly to change, and opens up options of strategy, you can move quickly in any direction you choose. It gives you room to create tactical surprises. As your enemies struggle to guess your next move, they reveal their own strategy, putting themselves at a decided disadvantage. It keeps the initiative on your side, putting your enemies in the position of never acting, but constantly, reacting. Always use formlessness with purpose. Don't confuse formlessness with a go-with-the-flow style attitude, or with a resignation to the twists and turns of fortune. Appearing formless is a tool that you use deliberately, with a specific purpose. To stay formless, you need to adopt a certain mindset. The first requirement of this mindset, is the idea that you will take nothing that happens to you, personally. Never show you have been hurt in any way, by what others say or do. It's important that you begin to train yourself, to take nothing personal. Let no one know your hot spots, what gets to you, or where your weaknesses lie. In life, others will try to provoke you, to find a weak spot. Your reactions are revealing. And be aware, your enemies are watching. Never show any defensiveness. When you act defensive, you show your emotions, revealing a clear form. Your enemy will realize they have hit a nerve, an Achilles heel. And they will hit it, again, and again. In this way, the game of power can be compared to playing poker. You never want to reveal the nature of the cards you are dealt, with an emotional reaction. Power requires the ability to play with appearances. 
Make your face, a formless mask. Never reveal your cards by being defensive, or getting angry. You can develop the ability to hide, or disguise your emotions, and that starts by training yourself, to take nothing personal. One man who used this technique, to good effect, was Baron James Rothschild. It was 1840, and Baron James Rothschild was a German Jew, in Paris. In a town decidedly unfriendly to foreigners, Rothschild was ridiculed and slandered in public. He never took any attack on himself personally, or showed he had been hurt, in any way. He kept his emotions formless. Rothschild would also remain formless, on the turbulent politics of the time. No matter who was monarch or emperor, Rothschild accepted them, one and all. Rothschild kept his forms flexible, and invisible. While other wealthy families of the time lost everything, Rothschild adapted, and he thrived. In the realm of power, you always want to value mobility, over size. The flexibility of your form, gives you mobility. Bigger, is not always better. What is immense and bloated, has no mobility, but must constantly feed itself. It requires constant maintenance. What is mobile and dispersed, appears formless, to the enemy. One of the advantages of a small organization, or a small military unit, is the ability to respond quickly to events. If you can disperse your forces quickly, you become an elusive target. You can strike quickly and retreat into the shadows, before your enemy has time to respond. Circumstances always change, and the quicker they change, the more it favors the nimble. The flexible and nimble almost always win, for they have more strategic options. Speed and mobility make it impossible to predict your moves. Size is overrated, so construct your organization around mobility, and plan your strategies with mobility in mind, to be effective. Because circumstances today, change so quickly, you must constantly adapt. Don't become stuck in the past. This is why the need for formlessness becomes greater, the older we get. Don't become set in your ways, and assume too rigid a form. Your mind must adapt to each new circumstance, as it arrives. As Napoleon said, the laws that govern circumstances, are abolished by new circumstances. Ideas and methods that work great yesterday, may not be useful today. Remember, there is nothing permanent, except change. Being set in your ways you become predictable, which will erode your power, as people lose respect for you. It will also make you an easy target for enemies. Realize. Everything is always changing, so you need to stay flexible and adapt. Keep an eye on the trends of culture, the zeitgeist, the spirit of the times. You need to recognize and flow with these trends, like you are riding a wave. Don't get stuck in the stagnant forms of the past. As circumstances change, you may find yourself in a new environment, surrounded by new people with different ways of thinking and acting. Power requires the ability to play with appearances. To gain power, adapt, and blend in with the political, social, or cultural climate you find yourself in. Like water, you need to flow around resistance. There is no need for unnecessary friction, you want to work on your goals without impediment. Accept the people in this new environment just as they are, treat them with dignity, respect their ways. Outwardly honor those with power and influence. Don't hold on to your past customs and habits. Begin to dress, talk, and act, more like those around you. You are not simply going with the flow here. You are deliberately blending in, so you can create a power base. You blend in, so you can work on your goals, without resistance. Be like water, and take the form of your surroundings. Being flexible with your ideology, has benefit to a leader. Flexible leaders, tend to stay in power longer and be more effective, than leaders who insist on following their rigid ideology. Rigid kings may seem strong, but with time, their inflexibility wears on the nerves of their subjects, and may precede sabotage or revolt. Being a flexible ruler, your subjects will feel less coerced, to obey you. There is, however, a downside, to a more, formless leadership style. You will be heavily criticized for being, wishy-washy. 
If you decide to use this style, keep an ear out for your subject's desires. Stay ahead of their resistance by remaining fluid and flexible, with your ideology. And always monitor the zeitgeist, the spirit of the times. Never, isolate yourself. You can only adapt to change, if you see it coming. Why using formlessness to be elusive, remember. There comes a time, to take a clear form, and strike your enemy with concentrated force. Use the strategy of formlessness with purpose. Always thinking long term. Plan with your end goal in mind. And then, be ready to make your move. Understand, formlessness will make your enemies hunt for you, they will scatter their own power, mentally and physically, and become vulnerable. At their most vulnerable point, you need to take on a visible form, and engage them with speed, and with power. When the time comes, you must concentrate your forces, and hit them hard. Strike with a powerful concentrated blow, to finish them off. For good.